Hi, Capricorn. It's Angela. And we are going to do your soul guidance reading for September. This is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, or wherever, whatever part of your chart you have Capricorn present that you want to um, address or anyone else really that comes to this reading that feels drawn to listen. That message is coming through for you as well. When I'm shuffling and preparing, I draw in the energy of Capricorn and connect with that. And that's how the cards come out. But, you know, we know that energy is um, not really to be defined like that um, at all times. So if your vibration meets this vibration of this reading, come on in and let's see what the guidance is. Um, these are soul guidance readings. They're internal awarenesses that we can um, shine a light on and, and transform if we choose. And each reading is um, opened up with an oracle card to give us that theme, that topic to shine our light on. And it's come coming from messages from the light um, in this reading. So your card, Capricorn, that I pulled for you is birth. So there are, so let's think of it as, I mean, this could be literal. Some of you may be preparing to give birth um, or someone around you, but because these are really inner being um, led <laughs> readings, what I get for this is this could be a creative project. This could be something that you want to transform and, and create and show into the world. Um, an aspect of yourself that you're wanting to shift and transmute so that it is um, in your external self showing up, you're showing up in a different way. Um, but regardless, everything that we put out into the world first begins within, right? Whatever that is, if it's a new part of our personality or a literal creative project or a transformation that we're making in our home life for another reason, maybe moving or creating a family. It all begins within that that inner tug, that that intuitive nudge that we all have. That's where all of this leads from. And this card is just indicating that it's time. The gestation period's kind of over and it's time for you to allow things to come forth. Whatever this is for you, right? When you when you hear me talking about that topic. So let's dive in to the um, clarification here using the Zen tarot cards and see what is ready to come forth or how we can um, process some of this stuff so that it is able to come forth. All right, starting point is the outsider. So yeah, there, there may be a separation between you and that thing that needs to come out. Um, you may, it's, it's a perceived separation, really. If this is a literal creative project, you may feel a, a, um, a little hesitant or maybe a little, a little bit of vulnerability in bringing it forth and letting and sharing it out um, into the world. But the only thing that's really stopping you is yourself. And this little guy is wanting to get to the other side of that fence toward the rainbow world and really feels separated from it like he doesn't belong but the truth of it is if you see that lock on the chain there it's not engaged and really all he has to do is open that gate and take the first step so for those of you who this is a a, a creative project or um, some kind of transformation that you're seeking in your life some kind of a new newness that's waiting to be born in your life the guidance is to take one step toward it. Just one thing that will help to um, facilitate its birth, right? That's our starting point. So I love, let's see what follows that, right? Okay, internally, this is an, an inner awareness or an internal vibration that supports this shift in, in this realization that really what I need to do at this point is take my first step, get myself toward that thing, that transformed version of me um, or that creative project, take that first step. And the inner guidance there is suppression. So there's a, 
push pull here going on, right? I want to go toward it, but I've got a lot of stuff that's holding me down. I've a lot of denser energies. And I would say this is fear or vulnerability, fear of vulnerability um, that may be holding you back. Um, maybe uh, past experiences. Maybe I don't, I don't know. I don't know if I really want to <laughs> go forward with this because when I've tried it in the past, it kind of, re, you know, um, what's that? What's the word? I don't know. Rebounded on me or what is it? I don't even, I can't even think of the word, <laughs> but you know what I mean? Like I, I'm hesitant to take that step forward. That's, that's, that I'm being guided to do because of stuff that I've buried away because of fears mostly. And that's going on within you. That is not going on in your waking world and in your real, real um, functional daily life. So this can be cleared, right? This, this, this is something internal that, that needs to be flushed out. In your external world, in your waking world, yeah. Okay, oh yes, look at this, one, two, three. So we have the need to step forward, to step toward that thing that is wishing to um, be created or be born. Just knowing that we, we must step, step toward it, right? That's the need. But I have a couple of things that are holding me back. So let me work on that. Let me let those rise to the surface and let me get, get um, more clarity on that. And then in my waking world, the clarity is there. The veil is lifted. Maybe some of these fears were unfounded. Maybe it's just take the first step. Even if I have the fears, take the step, move in the face of it. And then things become clearer. Then the rest of your path becomes clearer too. So this is a really crucial sort of starting point for this reading, for this thing, whatever that is, that you are, you know, hoping to manifest and, and wanting to manifest in, in your waking world. Those first three steps that, you know, take a step toward it, whatever it is, do one thing that gets you closer to it. Let Don't let the fears hold you back. Um, you could you know, either do some visualization of that fearful energy and that denser vibrational energy that's within you. You could do some um, in your meditations or in your quiet moments. You can do some visualization that allows that to rise up to the surface. And, and um, because it's, you know, an internal practice, right? It's not real monsters coming to get you. These are your own feelings that you're willing to let rise up. And then you can let them be there and realize they're really not going to harm me. Those fears are really my imagination. They're, they're either their um, memory, maybe you're, you don't want to repeat the same mistakes. And so you have fears, or they're just fears of the unknown, which is neither of those is present moment, right? Neither of those. It's either your memory and past experiences or worry about the future. None of those are present moment. So finding a way to ground yourself to um, practice visualizing some of this stuff coming up. What if they don't like my project? What if they don't like when I show up? You know, maybe you're, maybe you're changing your look. Maybe you're getting a new haircut and, you know, changing your style and the things you wear. What if people won't like it? Well, what if they do, right? Let's let those fears get a little quieter and your present moment awareness become the foundation from which you move about and from which you make these changes and manifest these creations that you're, that you're bringing forth. Some of this is a little more, um, um, a little less tangible it's not about a creative project or it's not about, you know, changing, you know, the surface of things here, the, the way I look or show up. Some of this is, um, some of you, this could be something more internal, just, uh, you know, I, I want to give more voice to um, my hopes and dreams and something that, and in that way, let it be born and let it come through. Um, some of this could be, I want to, create a, a more accepting, non-judgmental version of myself. And, and some of that might wanna come through. And, and it's this 
um, I just did a reading. I think it was just, I think it was Aquarius that had the same, not the, not the same one too, but this card in the same position in that inner. And it was really the one thing blocking the progress. So um, I'm not going to, I don't want to say that the guidance here is to attack it and flush it out and, oh, let's just do away with it, but to allow it naturally to rise to the surface, whatever this is for you, any kind of a denser, fearful energy, let it just be there because it won't harm you. It's in your mind, really, it's in your imagination and it will not harm you if you allow it to be present that's the way to clear it and that's the way to allow the veil to be lifted and for your clarity to come and your forward progress to commence okay let's get back to it speaking of foreign forward progress <laughs> we have this card here which is the key to moving forward and these cards here are your higher self you know your your new level of awareness as it pertains to whatever this is that you're wanting to manifest so that key to moving forward is the card of the lovers. I'm not going to take this literally as, you know, um, a lover or something like that. This is your inner energy. And what I'm going to take this as is self-compassion, right? As you move through this process and take some of these scarier energies or these, these energies that you've held back and, and don't really want to let rise to the surface but as you become more willing to move toward that and allow your manifestation to take place absent of these fears and vulnerabilities it will take you to be tender with yourself be accepting of exactly where you are as you move through this process and um really kind of you know showing a trust in your own heart space in, in your own willingness, your own capacity to be able to transform some of this stuff. You know, be, be gentle with yourself and um, practice compassion towards yourself. That will wash away a lot of these roadblocks. It could be, um, you know, a practice that needs to take place. It, it's, it's not just a one and done. Oh, I'm going to be more self-compassionate. It's going to take an awareness and a, a sort of methodical, practiced, measured um, approach, you know, just staying aware is, you know, if I have self-talk that is negative, is that bringing me to my clarity? Is that helping, you know, you know, question every, every little um, block that comes up for you. Okay. All right, now we've gone through, you know, the lower steps here and how to sort of move ourselves to a higher level of understanding as it pertains to manifesting that which we want to see come forth. And we have a landing point here of completion. So love it. So, okay, we, you know, we recognized the need to make a move in order to manifest this, this thing or this um, event or phase of ourselves. We recognize the need to make a, make a, take a step. We move from that to clearing the old stuff, clearing the denser energies that are holding us down, creating a clarity and an awareness that lets us move forward, practicing self-compassion because maybe this isn't moving as quickly as we want, or maybe we thought it would show up differently as far as that manifestation, but still practicing self-compassion um, I am exactly where I need to be in this moment. Then you reach a level of getting it, right? The the completion card, this card, this puzzled piece uh, figure, that final piece that's going into place is in the third eye. So there becomes a more complete sense of knowing you're on the right path or knowing that that which you have been wanting to manifest is near or is complete right? I love this because this is your sort of, you know, one, two punch. It's, it's take the first step, practice self-compassion and you got it right. And it's sort of, it sort of takes care of itself. Um, 
you know, the awareness card, I think, is a really important transition here uh, from moving from this denser internal energy, staying clear as to your intention as you as you go forward to manifest what it is you want to achieve, staying clear and um, accepting of any missteps or accepting of delays or or even some of these fears that you might revert back to accept it and be loving you know approach yourself with love then you you get to um really get because you've seen where you came from you get to really understand when it's when it's been achieved or when you're nearing that manifestation you get to really see it clearly and know it fully with your entire being okay and then within you the energy that goes with that is letting go. It's interesting how this card of letting go, and this is a gentle letting go. This isn't a thrusting away like the, like the thunderbolt card or you know the tower in regular tarot. This is a gentle letting it fall away, right? The, the droplets of water that fall off of this lily pad, fall off of the leaves, just fall on their own. There isn't a forcing, there isn't a struggle. And you get, when you're in with your higher self, as it pertains to this manifestation, you get to enjoy that ease. When your higher self is activated, everything is more easeful. And it's interesting how that letting go card is right above the suppression card. That's the transformation. It's moving from this buried, denser, rooted energy that we're allowing to come to the surface and we eventually take the path that lets us release it, right? Um, beautiful there, beautiful. And then in your final card, and oh boy, I just saw it and I can't wait to show it to you. <laughs> your final card in this spread is sort of the overview or the insight um, or the result of this work. And you got the master. This is your mastery uh, showing up in your life as you move toward that which you want to give birth to or create or manifest into your existence. You got this. Taking some of these steps, allowing for, I think the key to this card is allowing for that scary stuff or those denser vibrations, allowing them to rise, allowing them out of your system so that you have the space to move about and and um, move intuitively towards your goal. And the end, you end up completely connected, connected to the to your higher self, connected to the divine, and moving in a in a way that's more easeful. That just knows, as this completion card knows, you're on your right path and you're moving in the right direction and you will flourish. I really love this a lot for you guys. Um, let me know in the comments if this makes any sense or if it resonates for you or if it's something that just feels very foreign. That's a possibility too. You know, I, I, I have a lot of fears and I stay rooted in them. You know, a lot of us do. Um, but even just the suggestion of the possibility of an easier path as you transform and manifest things in your life um, you know, just accepting that that's possible, right, is, it's an important, it's an important awareness to come to. Just accepting that that gate isn't locked, and really all I need to do is step toward it. That, that willingness to believe that can be the start of your path, okay? All right, Capricorn, thank you for being here. Um, let's see, it is, this is your September reading. And I will be back shortly, you know, in a couple of weeks to give you an update for mid-month. And um, until then, I love you guys. <laughs>